Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good morning everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, weekend update show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody is uh, enjoying this in incredible, uh, incredible market. Um, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, again, once again, thank you very much. Uh, we really do uh, appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day uh, with us. Uh, if you can be so kind, it only takes a second uh, click a like. That's it. Click a like. It'll help the channel out. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, subscribe, come aboard uh, this uh, never-ending journey of technical analysis. That's it. Um, thank you very much once again. So, you know, it would be it would be really redundant to keep on saying how great this market is. It's just phenomenal. What are you, you going to do? It's absolutely phenomenal. And, um, you know, people keep on just now rehashing the conversation of well, how does this compare to .com? Is this actually now better than .com? And, you know, for years and years and years, you know, going through every single market, whether it was um, the 2009 generational bottom after the market, uh, after the financial crisis, uh, the pandemic market that was, you know, really, really good, that 2021, um, you know, really good market, uh, and kind of where we got this, I, I really do have to say right now, that this is the closest thing to .com. And, you know, I'm not going to have a whole debate on social media with somebody that was born after the .com era, uh, how it compares. But if you did trade, right, if you did trade through uh, 99 through, let's just say 2001, just that, that, that two years span, it was actually about 18 months span, you kind of know there's a very, very close uh, distinction in the two. The only difference that I, I've noticed two noticeable differences uh, from dot com to where we are now. Uh, during the dot com era, everything would explode because everything would, would explode on the PR of dot uh, com, right? If a company, for example, went online, their stock would explode. So, for example, uh, there was a company, for all you guys old enough to remember this, there was a company by the name of E Toys. A company came out with a PR and said, We're going to put our toys online. <gasps> right? Stock exploded. And that was pretty much the whole era. Uh, you had biotechs going nuts. Uh, you had technology going nuts. You had everything going nuts. So basically, the retail trader or the retail investor, they won. Whether you took your money off the table, uh, that's a whole different conversation. But they gave you a period in your time that the retail public, the institutional public, everybody won. You go fast forward to you know, 2020, right? What was 2020? 2020 was the whole stay-at-home movement. Uh, anything to do with uh, online, right? Online interaction, doing business, did very, very well. You know, uh, you had Zoom, right? That I use the Zoom platform in the in the, in the webinar. You had Zoom doing incredibly well. You had uh, you had companies like TDOC online. You know, doctor's visits do very, very well. And everything pretty much so surged because every, there was so much volume in the market because nobody that had real jobs uh, had anything else to do. You know, if, you, if your business was kind of uh, operation locked down, the only thing you could do is play online poker or, uh, or trade. So that was a very historical time. But that's when the retail public won because names like, uh, you know, a a AMC and GameStop it was going crazy again. Here's the key, you know, here's the key, uh, key similarities, right? It doesn't make a difference uh, if you took money off the table or not. The market gave everybody a chance to succeed. Again, that's a very, very big theme here. So now fast forward to where we are right now. The, the biggest things that I see, the difference between uh, .com and where we are now is now it's the real companies. Yeah, of course, you'll have some random uh, weird symbol go from 2 to 30, whatever. But nobody, you know, again, no... Nobody's really, con I mean, nobody I know is really even concentrating on that. Um, the, the big difference is, and you have real companies, you know, real companies doubling, right? Sometimes going 4X. You know, look at look at SMCI. I mean, this this is 4X since, right? This is 4X since October, right? The, the company got 
uh, added to the S&P 500. I mean, think about it. The stock literally, it went from $200. And now after the close, uh, the stock is, what, 1,035, approaching, uh, approaching all-time highs of this 1,088 level on the S&P edition. So you have, you have companies that are doubling, uh, like in NVIDIA, you know, forexing like an SMCI. And just to give you an idea how you know, crazy this market is, just to give you a perfect example of the exaggeration factor. AMD is used to used to be a trade uh, used to be a stock that I, I I would always trade, but I know there was you know like two years ago if you could get like a dollar fifty move that would be considered wow that's a really really good in AMD because that there's so much liquidity there almost too much liquidity so much institutional participation almost too much institutional participation that the stock only used to move like a dollar and a half maybe two dollars on a really good day, uh, the stock in the last twenty four hours has gone literally. From the 170s to uh, 203, right? Just to give you an idea, that's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, Nvidia now goes 20, 30, 40 dollars, uh, like like it's nothing. Uh, SMCI has 100 point ranges, like it's absolutely nothing. Obviously, again, we we kind of know the names that are not participating. The Teslas of the world not participating. Apple finally cracked uh, on Friday, not participating. Google really not participating. So there's definitely names that are not participating. But man, oh man, this is an incredible market. And the one other thing that uh, is noticeably missing from the from the uh, from the tech boom of uh, the 99 2000 is IPOs, right? Uh, we haven't seen really any phenomenal IPOs. We used to have IPOs going up 100% in a couple of days, a couple of weeks. So we're not missing. We're missing that area. And the one thing that you know that is a very very key similarity to what we're seeing now. To where we're seeing then is the duration of the move. A lot of people think the dot com bubble lasted for years. Dot com bubble lasted 15, 18 months. That's it. It was from 99 to about middle of 2000. That's all it was. And once 9 11 came, uh, everybody was ready before then screaming bubble, bubble, bubble. Once 9 11 came, it was like stamped uh, the end of the end of the move. So, you know, people, people remembering it wrong. It's, it wasn't around for five years. You know, the internet craze was around 15, 18 months. Right now, you know, we are in what? month 14 of this incredible rally. Listen, I would love, 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 love for this to be, to be extended uh, as much as possible. If you tell me we have an extra six months of this, I would sign up for it. You tell me you have an extra six weeks of this, I would sign up for it. So the more, the, 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 the more that we can have this type of action is absolutely incredible. But guys, I'm telling you this as the day is long and it's happened so many times. It's going to end. It's going to end. So uh, if you're taking advantage full uh, of this type of market, that's awesome. If you're a retail trader and you are riding the wave of some hot stock, whether it's NVIDIA or SMCI or hell, Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin or the other shit coins, whatever they're called, right? Guys, take your money when you can, okay? Take your money when you want to, not when you have to. Even if you're a week early, a week, you know, two weeks early, a month early, it's better be early than late, right? And we've seen this all the time because the retail public doesn't know when they won. When GameStop went from five to 300, they didn't know they won. When, when AMC went from basically zero to one in the 60s, they don't know they won. Guys, you're winning. If you're a retail investor in Bitcoin and this and that and the video, you're winning. Take your money. If you want to play with the profits, hold the profits, Take the profits. That's great. But you're winning. Realize you've won. Okay. This doesn't come along uh, every single day. It took 25 years to replicate the dot com era. Be smart. Okay. When I was trading in the dot com era, it was basically my first year and a half. I didn't think this was going to end. I thought I was going to be retired by the time I was going to be 27, 28 years old. Nope. I'm going to be 50 years old in June. So be smart, guys. Take your money off. Play with house money. If you want to keep 15, 20% on, hell, you know, let it go to zero, let it go to whatever the case may be, but be smart. Every single euphoric cycle is going to end. And when it does, it's going to be a really, really, um, it's going to be like, a, it's going to be like a heroin addict coming down from that high and he can't replicate that feeling anymore. That's what happens uh, when euphoric bubbles end. And this is eventually going to end, but I'm telling you, I'm going to continue to ride this as much as possible. Like I say in every single video, we know, right? We absolutely know 
Um, you know, what happens when a previous channel gets confirmed and we start losing a previous daily channel? I wasn't prepared for the rug pull in 2000. I wasn't prepared for the rug pull during the financial crisis. I'm prepared, right? I'm prepared. We know we trade both sides of the market. Um, you know, I don't care. I love this action. I think it's phenomenal, but I don't need it. I don't think any professional trader needs it. So if you're a retail investor and you've done great in the last 14 months, take your winnings when you can, not when you have to. And that's a very, very important part about having uh, a solvency status uh, in this industry. So that's it. I mean, what are we going to talk about? How great the market is, how the indexes are going crazy, right? We talked about all the symbols and I, I apologize. Twitter is having uh, an issue right now for whatever reason. Uh, I can't even go into uh, the pivots from Friday. As you can see here, Twitter is having a problem. So, but you have to take our word for it. <laughs> Friday was pretty good. Friday was pretty good. Uh, AMD had the second second run when nuts. Uh, NVIDIA from the Thursday night's video, we talked about the importance of reclaiming 800. This thing went right back to uh, all-time highs. Meta finally had that expansion channel, had a massive, massive move. I mean, everything. Amazon broke out. I mean, what are we talking about, right? You could go through the whole list of the NASDAQ 100 names. It was a phenomenal week, um, great week, just absolutely great week. Uh, and if that wasn't, you know, if that wasn't crazy enough, SMCI is up another hundred points on the inclusion of the S&P 500. That's already fueling everything after the close once again uh, on Friday. So going into uh, this week, again, I'm, tr I'm trying to find things that are just going sideways. I really am. It's so hard to find things that are going sideways, but obviously any dip. Uh, initial dip into uh, NVIDIA and and, uh, you know, and Amazon, everything, anything that's really ripping right now, you want to watch for uh, dips into rising 60-minute support. Uh, obviously, anything that's stretched out, that's doubled or tripled, and you're, this is your first entry in the stock, don't, don't, don't. You're way late. You're way late. Even if it goes higher, don't. You're doing it wrong. So let me give you guys some ideas uh, going into uh, this week that are not um, haven't uh, gone completely bananas uh, just yet. Uh, let's look at Microsoft. Uh, Mr. Softy uh, had a nice push here. This is a two-week consolidation. If Softy can get above uh, this channel here on the 23rd of February, it should go to all-time highs. Let's watch that. Uh, NVIDIA, watch this thing on Friday, uh, on Monday. And congratulations for all you guys who are holding a runner. This thing exploded on, on, on Friday through 800, through 802. And the last channel above this 806 and a half level closed uh, at 823. I think it's trading at 826. Uh, last time I looked on Friday afternoon uh, before the ECNs closed. You know, the video looks higher. Uh, MCHP, uh, another semiconductor, uh, is just first close over the 50 day. This is this is something you have to watch because uh, look, look what happened last time. It got above the 50 day. It went from uh, 85 to 93 in three days. So this is the first close above the 50 day. Uh, watch this thing if it confirms Friday's channels. Uh, Disney is approaching. Uh, Disney's approaching its earnings highs. Obviously, there's no better catalyst uh, than confirming earnings highs. That looks great. Uh, and Plant Palantir. My pronunciation of these stocks suck, um, but Palantir looks great. You know, absolutely great. Keep an eye on this uh, top of the channel here uh, from the February highs. If it takes it out this week. Uh, this thing could absolutely ex explode. Tesla, no man's land. Wake me up when it takes out the top of the range or the bottom of the range. Uh, Apple, you know, survived. You know, this thing got, actually got killed. Uh, we had a pivot in the room from that uh, 79 and a half, 79 level and all the way down to 77. Rebounded with everything else. But, you know, this is such an exceptional, exceptional market. You don't need to try to squeeze water out of a rock of stocks that are not participating. Just wait for the ones that are. And that's the key. So the moral of the story, guys, retail investors, swing traders, retail traders, scalpers, crypto traders, you won. You won, guys. I give you my word. You won. Take your money off the table. Okay. Again, doesn't need to be everything, but take your money off the table while you still have it. Because again, I've been doing this since 1999, actually technically 98. March, where we are right now, is my 25th year celebrating uh, my business, you know, <laughs> my business, right? Celebrating my, uh, my, my, my journey. Uh, and I'm going to be 50 years old in June. So I'm doing this for more than half my life. I've seen it before. It ends exactly the same way. 
Take your money when you want to, not when you have to. Guys, God bless everybody. Stay blessed, and I will see you all on Monday. Take care.